we are in Mkomazi National Park, Tanzania. The work we are doing here is the land sensor and it's been long time planned. Lion at the top or the apex predator, balancing the prey based population. For the very first time, WWF, in collaboration with partners, lion experts, are counting lion within the Mkomazi ecosystem to understand the numbers, the spatial distribution uh, within the park and outside. Mkomazi ecosystem is found within the Soknot landscape. Over 3,500 lions are actually found in the Soknot. It's important to understand the numbers. How many do we have? Uh, so that we can plan properly, we can be able to budget properly. It sometimes it becomes very difficult to really estimate accurately the number of lions in the other wildlife. We are employing the technique called the SECA. S-E-C-R, meaning a spatial explicit capture capture, to actually give us the accurate population of the land in the Mkomazi ecosystem. So all the land observed, the team should focus on taking the photo of the unique features. The whisker spot on both sides of the cheek. It's actually sharp and white. That's how we can also edge. So this one seems to be a juvenile. Now we are heading back to the camp where we will upload the data collected with the with a mobile phone, the cyber tracker. And after that, we'll sort out the photo taken because they've taken multiple. So I'll upload the clearer one, develop the catalog of the three lines we have spotted. The lion population has over time been going down uh, because of critical threats. Climate change has hit us very badly. Uh, we've gone three consecutive years without much rain. And most of the wildlife are trying to look for food and water and sometimes then they get into areas which are human inhabited and therefore causing human wildlife conflicts. Simba ni wakali tunawagopa kuhishi nao kwa sababu wanakula ngombe, mbuzi, kondro. Kwa hivyo tunawagopa kwa sababu hata mnini pia binadamu. The community reiterated back by killing the lion. That is what we are seeing currently, really increasing human wildlife conflicts. The land sensors really help us to put our mitigation measures now in place to make sure that we conserve their livestock. Mostly we deal with this human wildlife conflict by collaborating with the local communities. So we educate them and give them materials to control these wild animals when they come to the residential areas. With the support that we have gotten from WWF UK, now we are seeing communities becoming more positive. And the cases of retaliatory attacks have really gone down. One of the things that we did was to build the predator proof bombers, targeting households that had experienced livestock attacks from wild dogs, lions, and other large carnivores. We have the actual the sign of line presence in this area, based on the camera trap we set. Because we have not seen line here directly, we have decided to use another technique, and that is calling. <laughs> Okay, we have been playing here the call-in for one hour, but unfortunately no lion or any predator show. However, I will not uh, lose hope. Maybe they are not in this area. Maybe after two, uh, two or three weeks, we'll come back on the same place and play, do the playback again. I'm really passionate about nature and wildlife. And I feel good being in the wild. We hope the future of life is actually bright. What you are hoping to see is really increased coexistence between the local communities and the lions and other wildlife species. 
tunawashukuru shirika la WWF niendelee na moyo wa kutusaidia in future i see community and wildlife living in harmony i see the land population healthy and growing